Joe, just before the third period, I heard you say, like, whatever it takes to win. What did it take tonight? Yeah, I had to leave it all on the line. Uh, it took more than 60 minutes, obviously. Uh, it was on me that it should have been in the first 60, but everybody's able to bail each other out. That's why I love playing for this team. There's so much good character in that dressing room, and we got each other's back, so I really felt that tonight personally. When the end of regulation ends that way, how helpful is it and motivating is it to have a team like this that you know has your back? Yeah, for sure. I knew I knew right away just a positive talk that was happening in the dressing room after the period. Nobody was hard on me. It wasn't anything like that. They actually told me I'll be the one to finish it. So even though I wasn't the one to finish it, those are the positive reinforcements you need, and they go a long way in the team dressing room. If you look towards the end of the second period, the five-minute penalty, um, and coming into that third period, how big was that penalty kill? Yeah, I mean, it's huge, especially when you get scored on at the beginning of it. You still got four minutes and ten seconds left. You know you got to get the rest of the job done. So I think Cliffy does so much for us throughout the year. Uh, that was the message on the bench that we're going to kill this for him for all he does for us, and we were able to do it for the most part. What did you think of Dennis Hildeby? Because, yes, the posts were his friends a little bit, but he made some massive saves. Yeah, the posts are his friends is because he takes up the whole net. So uh, they're missing wide. They're going to hit the post. But he's been our rock the whole season. I think he's our MVP, and you're able to see it day in and day out. So I think with him back there, we have so much trust in him, and it gives you a lot of confidence playing in front of him. What will it take on Sunday? Just a lot more of the same. I think the energy we started with tonight, uh, rolling four lines, you need to use everybody. It's going to take 20 men. It might take more than 60 minutes, and we know that. So you just got to stay level-headed through the ups and downs, and we'll like the result we get through your mind when they score that goal to tie it up and then what also goes through your mind when you're involved in that play that Gambrell gets the winner yeah I mean uh I was down on myself for about three seconds and then decided to let it go. So uh, I knew I knew I should have buried that one, but uh, the quicker I was able to let it go, the quicker I was going to be able to help the team find a win there, and uh, it was able to happen, so I'm happy with it. Uh, this is sort of just narrative, but doesn't it feel like Belleville and Toronto coming to one climactic final game was inevitable this whole season? Everything that's happened. Uh, yeah, for sure. I mean, we're hard on each other, uh, us and them. Uh, it's, we play each other 12 times throughout the year, so eventually you're not going to like each other. So I think you're seeing a lot of that, and it's a tight matchup. So two good teams going at it. It should be a good final here. Dylan, what does it say about the type of person and player Joe Blandisi is that he misses that empty net and comes back to help create that chance to win in overtime? Uh, I mean, it says the world. He's been doing it all year. Uh, whenever we've been down, he's been the guy to, to rally us and, and find a way for us all year. So it's, it's no surprise. What did it take to win in, well, more than 60 minutes tonight? Uh, I think just staying with it. Um, I think it just comes down to simple, hard playing hockey at this time of year. It's, you know, the skills plays are, they're going to be there at times, but it just comes down to simple and hard work, I think. What did you think of Dennis Hildeby? Obviously, the posts were his friend a little bit tonight, but he made some huge saves for you guys. Yeah, I mean, he's earned those. Uh, he's played great all year. He's kept us in a lot, a lot of games. So, um, yeah, I mean, we got to play hard in front of him, and I, we know he's going to help us out. So, As someone that's been relied on for the PK this year, what was going through your mind during that five minute that you guys had to kill, especially at the beginning of that third period? Uh, it was a big moment in the game. I thought we did a great job. Um, you know, they have a good power play, so you know we got to be hard on them. But uh, you know they're going to make plays. But I think we did a great job. We've done a great job all year, and um, you know that's going to be a big part of the game uh, Sunday too. Congratulations on the birth of your child. How much did the dad strength play into your game tonight? I guess it did. I guess it worked. Um, yeah, no, it's it's been a blast with her, and uh, so it's been really fun. Really grateful. What will it take on Sunday to finish this series off? Uh, I think a lot of the same, um, and do or die game for both teams, so it's going to be a lot of fun. Uh, looking forward to it. What was said during that third intermission, you know, to, I guess, help you guys push through here? Uh, I think it was just, you know, coming together, rallying for each other. Um, we have a great group in the locker room, and, um, you know, a really tight group, so it's easy for us to come together and rally and play for each other. What did you see on that goal? Did you know when you hit it? That it was in the net? No, I know I couldn't see anything. So I saw Blender come and running to jump it at me. So then I knew. John, what was it that gave you guys the edge to pull this one off? Well, I think we just had to reset. You know, we had the game kind of in control. Then, you know, the penalties in there. You know, our guys were playing physical. It was just the way it happened, and um, took a little bit of our momentum off away. But at the end of the day, um, our guys played extremely hard. And they came out in overtime with a couple of really good shifts, and we were fortunate enough to get out of there early with a, with, a, with a huge win. 
If you look at the beginning of the third period, coming in, having to kill that power play after they just scored to bring it within one, what's going through your mind in that moment? As coach, you just you can't get caught up in it too much. You just got to figure about the next shift and keep them feeling good about what, what things were going well, what we were doing to, to create offense and so forth, because you can't dwell on anything at that time. It's, it's, an, it's a crucial part of the game. Um, the third period is uh, extremely important, and I want our guys feeling good about their game. I, I, I think they know what, what we have to do for us to have success, and I don't want them to play uh, on, their, on their heels. I want them to play on their toes and, and be confident when they're on that ice. So we, we just kind of reset, and we were positive with them, and you know they went out and did the job. How impressed were you with Dennis Hildeby's play tonight? Some huge saves. He really did, yeah. If, if, if he made, when they had their push and their power play, um, they had some good looks. Um, and he did a really good job of just staying calm. He was no different than our, our players. He stayed focused and he uh, was just worried about that next save. So without him, we would have probably never been in that position uh, to get ourselves a chance to win that game. What does it say about the person and player Joe Blandesi is? He misses that empty net, and then he generates that chance to put this game away. Well, and that's, you know, his, his teammates were there to pick him up, and we said, even in between period, I go, if he, he played an outstanding game. If, if he doesn't play that outstanding game, we're not in that position to begin with. So we, we believed in him. Uh, we believe in him. He's a leader of our group, and for him to come out the way he did in that first shift in overtime, I mean, he created all that. So good for him and I'm, I'm glad it couldn't happen to a better guy. What will it take on Sunday to put this series away? Well, I mean, that first 10 minutes, we were pretty good. Uh, we got in a little bit of trouble. We started uh, forcing things in the middle of the ice and they can generate on our, on our turnovers. We have to prevent that from happening again. But all in all, I like where our mindset is and I think they understand what it's gonna take. And it's, again, uh, it's gonna be an exciting game. When it comes to the playoffs, I mean, this is still a developmental league. You got a young guy like Jacob Quillen just starting his pro career. How do you balance, you know, going for the Calder Cup and also developing players that are just sort of learning as they go? That's a, that's a, that's a fair question. There are a couple of things with him. He's uh, he's an extremely good player, but we also got to be careful to put him in a position. You know, we have a five minute penalty. He hasn't seen the ice. We get another penalty. He hasn't seen the ice, and almost to put him out at certain times it's almost not put in a position not to succeed he has to be able to play through those op opportunities but you know at the end of the day we also have to you know try to win games and, and again he's he's going to be a big part of our team as we move forward when Clifford went out you had to juggle the line really quickly how did you to choose to do that and why did you well, make it? again you know we we had i thought like Two or three lines are going extreme low. I don't want to break too many of them up, but we have an you know we have to we have to just find ways to put guys in positions for them to be the best version of themselves. So um, the penalties did hurt, but at the end of the day, you just have to just kind of just go with your feel and your gut, and then at the end of the day, live with trust them and, and live with them at the end of the day.